Um, hey guys, I had a little extra time, so I wanted to make a bonus video. Um, and I wanted to talk about, <clears throat> this is a PS4 Beginner's Guide 2. Um, and this is kind of part of the live streaming ability of the Vita. So um, if you have a PlayStation 4 in your house on your Wi-Fi along with your um, Vita, you can actually stream. Um, we're not going to show any games today. Uh, oh, this will be a, you know, I'll have another episode that where we show games. Um, but I wanted to show what I actually really like about, hold on, let me set this up. I think that will work. <clears throat> Whoopsie. Um, there we go. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. Here, I might have to just... There we go. Hold on. Getting a lot of glare. Not foresee. There we go. So let's go back out. Okay, so... Um, that's not what I wanted to do at all. <clears throat> okay, so this is how you log in, basically. This is the Vita's uh, menu. Um, you just go to PS4 link. Um, it's going to... You, you want it to say that it's it, it needs to find your local PS4 when it scans it, or it's going to run really slow. So make sure when it says searching local, it's actually picking it up. Um, and then what I'm on here um, is I am on the... Uh, eShop, the Sony, well, it's actually the Sony PlayStation Store. Um, so I'm able to, this is what I think, and I wanted to showcase this feature on its own because I feel like this is really, um, <sighs> button confusion. Um, this is really, um, what I will probably use this for the most it is fun to play games um, on it as well, and I'll show that off. It is a little hit or miss, um, but, you know, this feature where you can actually browse the shop is amazing. Let's see if I can get to the other side here. Oof, there we go. I didn't really think this video through, guys, so bear with me. Um, but see, I can browse. There's Ease 8. Um... And you see there's a little bit of input lag. It's not bad, though. Tap, tap. See, there's a little bit of input lag. Tap, tap. But it's not... It's it's a few frames. Um, I really can't tell specifically what it is, obviously. But um, you, know, you can go through here. Say I want to buy a Final Fantasy Remake, which I do, but I can't afford it. <laughs> yep, there's the Last of Us Part 2. Um, you can view trailers. Um, Cuphead apparently is uh, on here. <laughs> um, so I think for most people, this is the... Because, you know, like I have a lot of friends that don't play um, a lot of handheld gaming. But I feel like this feature might... Man, you can. I think you can do it with the phone too. But this is just doing it on your actual system which is just so cool like this is just the system um so ghost of tsushima um yeah there's definitely a couple of things that i want on this summer sale here um let's see uh, uh, over the summer sale boom uh, I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm telling you, man, I was just on the Switch last night, and it messes with me. And then I have the Japanese Vita, so some of it is the other button. It's very confusing. Um, so I have the Japanese PSP, too. They're just cheaper. What a deal's under $15. So, I mean, look, you can really see... Whoops. You can really see... Um, hold on. That if you know you were gonna browse, this is a pretty good way to browse, um, and you can just download it right there. So uh, this is my beginner's guide to Vita integration. So if you have a PS, you know PS4 user guide in regards to you know I'll be covering the Vita in this PS4 guide because I feel it's a great accessory to the PS4.